I'm just trying to hold a conversation. And before the conversation gets had, you get a bunch of children trying to derail it. And if you've noticed, most of the things you try to do in the black community, it's always one of us trying to derail it. We can get more help from somebody that doesn't look like us to help us help to, to further this thing and complete it than one of your own. How far would you say, Tommy, how far is too far when it comes to YouTube beef and have you experienced any doing or life-threatening things online that you have taken seriously? Yeah, people uh, doxing each other. Here's the thing. If you hate me enough and you want to do something to me, then you do it. Why would you do like uh, Corey Holcomb keeps saying on his show, I don't see why none of y'all haven't walked up on that nigga in person and did something to him. Well, the question would be, why hasn't he done it? If he that bad and he thinks somebody needs to kill me because of my words. And if that's the case, we can't get mad at anybody for killing our black leaders of the past because they were killed for their words. Black folks are too hypocritical. And that's what we run into with these whole online beefs. They put out each other. They, they put out my daughter's school address. Mm. Why would you do that? You hate me. Why would you do that? My daughter used to have a YouTube channel. When she went on her YouTube, they were in the comment section asking her how my dick tastes to a 12 year old. Damn. And they yeah, found it funny. That. I remember that. I remember you. When going she in was on five that. years old, they used to take pictures of me, my head and her head and put them on the top of porn pictures to act like we were fucking a five year old. And they've done this since she black, she ugly, she like a horse. And then their excuse is, well, you talk about other people. I said, I'd understand if my daughter was in the news, if my daughter was out in the public doing anything wrong. The only thing my daughter's done wrong is be my daughter, which she didn't choose. But you are messing with this woman. They put out my mother's church address. Uncle Sweetness went to my mother's church to prove he could touch my mom. But he didn't come to my house. He went to my mom's church. And y'all sit back and cheer this on because you don't like something you don't have to watch. You don't have to watch me. I'm a YouTuber. I don't affect your life at all. But that's what they're doing, and that's when they go too far. And every one of them are doing it. Have you noticed the first thing they do when they get into an argument with somebody is to dox them? The first thing. Yet we didn't claim the white people shouldn't do that to us. What is it? Every, every time a black person shot, the first thing they do is talk about he passed. Well, every time a YouTuber says something you don't like, the first thing you do is talk about their past. Bring up something. Somebody in your comment section said, Tommy's gay. We know it. What the hell? You've never seen me with a man. No man has ever come out, but I'm gay. Okay, I get it. But then these same people who is, I did a show one time. It was hilarious. The dude was calling me and calling me all kind of fags, but his cousin walked in. His cousin just so happened to be gay. He also <laughs> just so happened to be living in his cousin's house and sleeping on his cousin's couch. And his cousin got on the mic and said, oh, that's how you feel about me? He said, no, 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 I'm talking about this dude on this show. He said, if you'll say it to him, you say it to me. Mm. And that was the first time I seen somebody check somebody. It's just like how they steadily call me crispy and blacky. These are the same people who got dark skinned people in their family. Somebody dark skinned in their family need to stand up and say, if you'll call him that and you don't know him, what do you call me when you get mad? Put her up there, so on. It's not like one day, she came home from school, Tommy. Now, I don't know she walked across my room because she came home, took off her school clothes, right? She have on her panties and her shirt. Now, she's a little girl. She walks across my camp. I didn't know. And then somebody put in the chat, yo, sorry, your daughter came across, and I look back, and she's in the bathroom. Don't you know a nigga stopped the fucking screen, took her out, and put her up on the screen? The only way I was able to get that down, Tommy Sotomayor, was I, I went on live and I said, yo, if you don't take this down, I'm going right to the police station. We're going to tell you that you are a child predator. And, and they took it down right away. But guess what they called me after that? A snitch. What? Because I said, I'm going to call the police. <laughs> like, what the fuck I supposed to do, Tommy? You, you would can't do win anything with... to protect your child. And, and because, Tommy, you don't know where this person is at. So, but they can find you through the... Um, to do the why you know what I'm talking about the AP or something how they call that? Wow. I, I did. The IP address. So because I did that, they started calling me a snitch, putting videos wow. up with me saying I'm going to the police, cutting it. But that was the purpose of me saying all of that because of my daughter. And guess what? It worked. They took it down. 
because once you become a predator of a child, that shit stays in the books. You're going to be labeled as a, uh, a child, child predator. predator. Mm -hmm. you, you, know? Know, you know what's really so sad is the I'm fact that... Is that's when I stopped. That's when I stopped calling the white man the devil when I got on here because I realized there are way more black devils than the white but man. But you remember man. that's what, we, what we, you and I had to beef at the that's beginning right. because we I kept saying... to go in we, on that. Yeah, I, I said we got to start with what we're doing to each other. We can't keep talking about what the white man doing. We are way more evil to each other than the white man can ever be. Yes. We really are. The things yeah. we're saying, the fact that we don't even take time, like right now, you and I are talking and more people are saying this shouldn't be happening. We don't need him around. Like, dude, you won't just leave? I, I'm getting emotional because, you know, things have happened to me too. I'm not talking about what's happening right now. I've had people um, find me on LinkedIn, contact my clients, say that I eat babies. I'm a doula. Um, Crazy shit, Tommy. Word up. Mm. And and just they've they've done everything. Come to my house, put manure on my lawn. And the thing that I, I'm listening to, I wanna I wanna say this. We know that there's a lot of mental illness within the black community. I always say I don't blame the leader. I blame the followers. The followers are the problem. It's not the leader. If the leader goes to the left, if the leader jumps off, what did the old people used to say? If your friend jump off of a cliff or jump off a bridge, would you? The leader is going to do dumb stuff, but it's the followers who are worse. You mean to tell me that we're supposed to just go by what people say, not what they do? And that's why I started talking about what I was talking about. You have a bunch of people who talking about black women or praise black women and black women is God. Yet all you're doing is screwing them and then walking away from them. So how are you different than the person who says, I don't date black women? At least he's not causing them pain by not dating them. You're actually causing them pain by dating them and breaking them down. Nobody talks bad about the pimp. What is a pimp's job? The pimp actually takes a black woman, sends her in the streets, gets her to make money and takes the money from her. We idolize this guy. So a guy on YouTube who's saying something you don't like needs to be shut down. But the rappers who saying these hoes ain't loyal, do you think Chris Brown talking about white women or the black women he had grew up dating? Mm, when you heard Tupac, point. when you hear Tupac talking about the black women he say, when he say, or, or these other men, when they say bitches ain't shit but hoes and tricks, they weren't dating white women. Snoop Dogg, Snoop Dogg. They were only dating black women. And so all of these uh, tropes came from these men and their interactions with women. And so now they started calling them bitches and hoes and the women were dancing to bitches and hoes. But then when they watch my beat, my video, because I know nice beat in it and I'm not saying something stupid to you rhythmic, I'm saying this is wrong. You got a, more of a problem with me than the guy who sold millions of albums saying he got hoes in different area codes. Yes, the black woman, for me, it seems like she's more violent. Like we see recently the young woman was unfortunately shot by the police, trying to stab another woman. Why, you talk about the BT-1000, do you think the black woman is violent because she's had to really stand on her own, do her own fighting? Or what, what reason do you think she's especially ready to always fight? I believe that, I've always said, I believe that black women have been coaxed to be violent and I think it's easy for them to be violent because in general if you just go back and look at what happened to the Cleveland bus driver the black woman was hitting this man while he was driving the bus with passengers in the bus and if she had knocked him out they'd all died because they'd hit somebody else but they didn't stop her from doing a thing she was doing as soon as the bus driver pulls the bus over and says you going to jail now and hit her first thing those dudes yell was that's a female and they wanted to stop it. So let me get this straight. This woman can beat this man and put all y'all life in danger and you are afraid to say something to her because of that. That's the reason why you have these irrational people in the comment section now because they were raised by them irrational women that they watch go out and screw with everybody with impunity. Now, the majority of women can hit a man, can walk up the side and hit him in the face and nothing can happen because if he hit her back, he wrong and she gonna have nine dudes ready to fight for her. The dude who played in Steve Harvey, his name was Merlin Santana, was murdered because of a lie that was told on him, not by a white woman. Tupac was in jail because of a lie that was told on him, not by a white woman. Mike Tyson went to jail because of a lie that was told on him, not by a white woman. Clarence Thomas was almost not became a, 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 a judge, Supreme Court justice, not because a white woman said something to him. You got, uh, uh, 
so many cases. The brother Brian Banks, Brian Banks spent five and a half, six years in jail, not because a white woman did it. But we act like this is not a thing. We act like this is not a problem. There are many black men out there right now that's had their lives ruined because some black woman lied on them. But we're still supposed to run around and call these people queens. We can't talk about the truth of the numbers that it's more of them putting black men in jail than any white woman is. So you go out and wait on this white woman that's put a person in jail. Yeah, but you forgot about the other 10 black women who did it. It's okay for a black woman to do it. It should be less black women putting black men in jail on false charges than white women, shouldn't it? If we do have any kind of um, camaraderie or uh, kind of love, shouldn't it be more white women putting black men in jail? Shouldn't it be more white women having black men set up and killed? But yet I just saw a video of what happened here in Houston where a black woman lied on the black man and it's on videotape. You can see it. She's saying, he the one, he hit me, he did so-and-so. A black dude walks into the frame and shoots him in cold blood on camera. And she's laughing about it. And he robs this guy. You can't tell me that these are queens. I don't believe this. Now, I know what people say. Well, not all. I understand not all. But you, here's the thing. If there was a white person speaking for white people and he was racist and white people didn't shut him down and say he doesn't speak for us, then as black people, we think they all believe it. The ratchet women who get up and speak, nobody shuts them down or says they don't speak for us. Black people weren't outraged that Cardi B spoke for black people. This is the same woman who talked about poisoning, uh, poisoning men and robbing them. So why is it that she's not in jail, but Bill Cosby is? They did the same thing. But she got to Sorry, interview the president. Sorry. No, I'm saying we're, we're not being fair. So you, they get the violence. Whenever you allow someone, it's just like a child. If you allow a child to do whatever they want to do, they're going to keep pushing the boundaries. These women, there's a video that came out today. A woman did totally destroy her baby's daddy's car, filmed herself doing it. She's still not in jail. Reverse the roles. Do you think a man can film himself beating a woman's car up, destroying her property and not be in jail? is more powerful they like, shouldn't but the problem is pookas and ray rays have more babies than anybody else though so there's a, the, the community is backwards the Why guy who think, think about it how many times have you heard a woman take say she's going to her baby dad is an engineer her baby dad is a doctor her baby dad is a lawyer you don't hear that i did a case uh in uh, uh nashville tennessee i think it was uh in that area it was in tennessee but it was in the nashville area there were three men who got 46 women pregnant and had a total of 76 children, three men. The women were getting 30 cent a month in child support check. So the question is, why was he getting so much ass? Why wasn't these high value men that these women talk about? Let me tell you why. Because these women in the black community, we've been so dysfunctional in the black community that things that are right are considered wrong and things that are wrong are considered right. We're the same people who turned the word bad and made bad mean good. The lawyers is not getting people to sleep with them. The lawyers is not getting, the doctors are not getting a bunch of children. It's the nigga that barely can't take care of them. He does. So if you have a bunch of these situations going on, it seems like there's a bunch of lip service paid by these women about these high value men, but they're not sleeping with them. They're not being with them. Matter of fact, they'll call most of them lame. You want a high value man? Why don't you date one that's got something going for himself when he's in college? That's the easiest way to find one.